Today I'm going to be doing a full glam smoky eye look. Stay tuned if you want to see. Alright, so to start off I'm going to prime my face with the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. And like I said in my previous tutorial, you want to make sure that this is tacky before you stop rubbing it in because that'll ensure that your foundation sticks to your skin and that's what you want. So once that's on, I go in with a pore filler. You don't have to do the step. My pores just are very visible. So you just use a little bit on your finger. And I usually rub it in between my two fingers and then just put it on my nose and my cheeks, right where my pores are the most visible. And then you just rub that in really good as well. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Light Beige. This is full coverage, so a little goes a long way. So I only use like one or two pumps and not even full pumps because like I said, a little bit goes a long way. So then I dab this all over my face. And I don't know if I said it before, but you want your sponge to be moist so that it spreads the foundation nicer and it soaks into your skin. You also want to drag it down to your neck to make sure that your face matches the rest of your body if you don't have a foundation that matches perfectly, which is very hard to find. So once you have all that done, you can move on to contouring. So today I'm using the Stila Cream Contour. Um, mine is in light. I think there's two different, two or three different shades that you can get for this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a foundation brush and I'm gonna take the light and. I'm going to put this underneath my eyes to lighten. Alright, and then I'm going to take my other brush and I'm going to go into the contour shade right here. I'm going to bring it down. You want to kind of start. If you feel where your cheekbone starts, that's where you want to start. And you want to just go like this and follow the line down. And then I'm going to carry it up to my forehead a little bit. Just warm it up up there. Bring it down my jawline. And then I'm going to use my finger and go down the sides of my nose a little bit just to kind of carve out my nose. Alright. And now you can either go in with a brush, but I like to use my sponge. And you just blend in everything that you just did. I usually start with the highlight that I did, so the lighter color, and I blend that in first. Make sure you get it all in there. Sometimes it's easier to use the pointed end near your eyes because it really gets close to your lash line down your nose. Your chin, and you keep this well. Good. So now I'm going to go in with my eye primer. This is the Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer. I really like this because it's tinted, and if you have any imperfections on your eyelids, 
this kind of buffs them out. That's what I really like about this. Now I bring it all the way up to my eyebrow. You don't have to, but I do that because when I put my brow bone shade on, it really pops and brings out my eyebrows. And then I do like to take a little bit and put it underneath for when I smoke out my lash line. So the color stays there. Alright, so while that dries, you do want to go in with a powder to set your under eyes so you don't get creasy. Um, it can be any type of powder that you really want. It can be your face setting powder. It can be a translucent powder. Um, but you just want to dab it underneath your eyes. And this is going to hold it in place and make sure that it's not going to crease everywhere on you. And then I am going to go everywhere else that I highlighted. So up on my forehead. Down my nose. Keep this bubble. So now I'm going to go into my eyes and I am going to use some of the peach palette and some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So. First I'm going to go into the color white peach. I want to coat my entire lid so that it's easier for me to blend out all the colors in the end. I'm going to just take that and go everywhere with it. And once that's done, I'm going to go in with a crease color, and I'm going to use Summer Yum, which is right here, and Charmed, I'm sure. I'm just going to mix those in together and tap off the excess, and then just focus right on the middle of my crease, doing windshield wiper motions. Make sure it's very blended. Now, once you get the desired blended effect, we're going to go in with a little bit of a darker color, and I chose Peach Pit. It's going to be one Peach Pit. And I'm going to focus this on the outer V of both my eyes. And again, you want to blend because you don't want that harsh line. And I wouldn't go past this point of your eye just because we are going to be putting a lighter color and you want that light color to pop. You don't want it to be taken over by this dark color. Once I've got that on, you want to take a clean blending brush and just go in blend out that top part and if it does help you you can add a lighter color to the clean blending brush and that might help a little bit with the blending process and that you can see that there's no harsh line anymore. So now I'm going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette and it's kind of dirty but I'm going to pick up the color Treasure and I'm going to do this with a flat brush and I'm just going to pack this on my lid because I want that color to really show so when you pack like this you're just tapping down that's really gonna ensure that the color stays there instead of blending it out like that. I'm gonna do the same on this side. It looks crazy now but we haven't blended it yet. So then I'm gonna take the first brush that I put peach pit on 
and then I'm just gonna blend that right into the darker shade. for this side. And since I do want a more intense lid, I'm just going to take a setting spray. You can use any type of spray for your face. And I'm going to go into the color again. And then I'm just going to spray it. Get it a little bit wet. And then I'm going to pack it on. So that kind of foils the color and as you can see this side is a lot brighter than this side is. So I'm going to take that color again, spray it again, and do it for this side. And it just intensifies that color a little bit. Right. So now I'm going to do the inner corner highlight. I'm going to go back into the peach palette and I'm going to do the color nectar. Just place that on the inner corner. It opens the eyes. Right. And now I'm gonna go into my Urban Decay Singles. And I can find it. Yes, and I'm gonna take the color. pop it out right here. I'm going to take the color Sell Out and I'm going to put this one on my brow bone. Right. Now I'm going to go into my eyebrows and first I'm going to start with a spoolie. This is the Anastasia 12 brush. I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows and then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Chocolate. And I'm just going to line them. I already like the shape, so I'm just filling them in and cleaning them up a little bit. You want to go a little lighter right here so you don't have that fake eyebrow look. And then, because this color matches me a little bit better. I'm going to go in with Chella's Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Wiz Solution. I don't know what it's called. Just eyebrow color. And now I'm going to define more of the tail end of my eyebrow. Alright, and then I'm going to go back into that spoolie and just brush it out a little bit. Get any excess color out. Now I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. This is a felt tip. Um, you don't have to use a felt tip, whatever you want. Um, I know a lot of people like gel or just the pencil eyeliner, but I'm hooked on this. It stays all day. So, And I am going to create a wing, but first I'm just going to kind of start in the middle. Work my way to the end, and then I'm going to create a wing. And then you want to connect the top of the wing right here. When you get your desired look, you can have it as big or as small as you want. You want to connect this to the line that you created in the center. And then you just drag it down like that. And then you go back and fill it in. And then you're going to fill in the rest of your eyeliner. Now I'm going to go in and do the other side and I'll be right back. Alright, so there's the eyeliner. And now I, I'm going to go in and coat the top lashes and prep them for falsies. And you want to let that dry for a minute. And while that's drying, I'm going to go in with my blush. I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Blush in Sid and Nancy. And just, I like to mix both the colors. Uh, one's lighter and one's darker. 
I just think they're a really good combination together. You don't have to do it that way, that's just the way I do it. Um, this blush is very, very pressed, so when you first use it, there is like a shiny layer over the top. Once you get through that, you'll be able to pick up the color better, but this blush does layer nicely, so you can just keep going over to get the desired blushiness of cheeks that you'd like. But I do like this because when you're putting on blush, sometimes it's like, bam, like, whoa, way too much blush. This one, you can build it up, and I, I like that better because it's just, you don't mess up. And if you mess up, you just add more. I do carry it up a little bit higher, too. And then I'm going to go in with a highlight and I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated in Luminous. I haven't used this in so long and it looks like this. I'm just going to pick a little bit up on my brush on the highest point of your cheekbone is where you want to get it. And then I'm going to go in with my ColourPop Road Trip Super Shock Cheek in Tie Dye. And it looks like this. And I'm just gonna use my finger. And you wanna use your ring finger because you put the, the least amount of pressure on that finger. And I'm just gonna tap it on and carry it everywhere I just put the naked illuminator. And a little bit above my eyebrow. Now that the coat of mascara has dried. I am gonna go in with Ardell Natural Wispies and I'm using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive again. And you just want to take the eyelash and lightly coat the line. And you're gonna wait for that to get tacky. It takes about 30 seconds. You can blow on it or wave it in the air like this. Then you want to place it right in the center first. You can use tweezers if you'd like. I like using my hand because it's more direct. But then you push both ends of the eyelash down so that it sticks to your eye. You don't want to keep pressing on it. You just want to kind of do it as quickly as you can without moving the eyelash because the more you move it, you're going to mess up your eyeliner that you did underneath. And then you want to let that dry. And while that dries, you just go over and do the other one. I do go in with my eyeliner and just go over where it was just to ensure that there's no white and no clear glossy finish on top of my eyeliner. And then I'm going to go over my lashes with my Benefit They're Real Sample Size Mascara. I'm just going to incorporate my lashes into the falsies. You don't want to do a lot because you don't want to ruin your falsies. You can actually wear them more than once. Um, I keep my little case that they come in and just put them right back in there. And they're good to go for the next time you want to use them. So I want to take a small brush and I'm going to go in with Summer Yum. That's the color that I used in my crease. And I'm just going to focus it on the bottom back corner. I'm going to go into Peach Pit, same brush, it doesn't matter, and I'm just going to go on top of it and bring it a little bit closer in. When you focus on the outer corner, you're opening your eyes more, and it also makes your whites of your eyes look a lot brighter because you have the darker color. If you were to go all the way across, it would make your eyes look a little bit smaller. Then. I'm going to take the their reel again and I'm going to coat the bottom lashes. I do want to bronze up my forehead a little bit so I am going to go into the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm going to just take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to swirl it around, tap it off a little bit and just warm up my forehead a little bit, making it look sun-kissed. And I'm going to do lips. So I'm going to go in with two colors. I'm going to go in, like my last video, with the Urban Decay Sheer Rapture. It's a nice sheer mauve color. I'm just going to kind of coat my, my lips with that. It does have a glossy-ish finish. 
But to make it even glossier, I'm going to go in with the Dior uh, Addict Lipstick in the color Girl, or the number is 485. And it is like a pinky, glossy, sparkly color. And I'm just going to place that on top. And that's it for this makeup tutorial. And this is the final look. Please hit subscribe if you like this. Thank you guys. Bye.